So I'm going through this man phone the other day and I listened to a voice message that came from the side chick saying that, hey, better than I need you to please bail, uh, bail me out. I'm locked up because um, I got pulled over for drunk driving, but I didn't know I already had a warrant for a speeding ticket I didn't pay. So they're not going to let me go till somebody bail me out. And I'm thinking like, don't she have anybody to bail her out? Okay, so she she also left in the message what jail she was at. I said, okay, this man don't even like checking his voice message, so I'll go over there. I goes over there. I asked for Felicia. I wanted to speak to her about building her out, so they allowed me to speak to her. When I got when she got to the window, she was like, "Oh hell no, not you!" I said, "Why not not me? <laughs> we all one family. I mean, my husband don't check his messages, so you know his voicemail. I always check it for him. You know that's the worst thing to do as a side chick to leave a voicemail because I know the passcode and I always check it. But I came here to look out for you, though. You know, you asking him to bail you out. I mean." <laughs> that's my husband so you know he really can't bail you out but if you allow me to go sell a couple of stuff i said how much how much would it cost to bail you out she's like the bill bond the bond was set at 2500 i was like girl i know you got some stuff in your house that you can sell that can give you 2500 and get you out of here you know i i've been in your house i seen your big screen tv and your bed is so comfortable and look like you spend at least close to two thousand dollars on that bed, and your TV look like you spent almost a, high, uh, a thousand on that TV. So, if you allow me to go sell it, I bring the money back, and you be out of here. You can always replace it. She was like, "What? Where am I gonna sleep? What am I gonna watch?" I'm like, "Girl, having a shelter over your head is all that matters. The couch is gonna be left. You can sleep on the couch until you replace those material things." And she's like, "Well, you got a, you got a point. You got a point." She was like, you going to come build me? You going to sell it and come build me out for real? I said, sure, I am. I mean, you can trust me on that one. I, they got Facebook Marketplace. They got all kinds of apps. They got Craigslist. I can put that thing on there. They'll come and pick it up the same day, and I'll be here with the cash, you know, to get you out. She was like, okay, okay. So she gave me the go ahead, and I used her key. They gave me the key that she turned in. I went and put that stuff online for sale. I mean, I ended up making three thousand two hundred. So I pocketed the three thousand two hundred, and then I called Ben and then I said, "Have you listened to your voicemail?" He was like, "No." I said, "Do you know that Felicia left a message? She's locked up because she was drunk driving, and there was already a warrant out for a speeding ticket she didn't pay." He was like, "What?" I said, "You need to go bail her out." He was like, "What? You okay with me bailing her out?" I said, "Sure." I mean, like, don't you care about her? I mean, she left a voicemail because she wants, she thinks, you know, she she trust that you can bail her out. I mean, go bail her out before she lose her apartment and that thing. You should go bail her out. He's like, I can't believe you asked me to do this. I was like, it's your money. I got my money and you pay the bills. It don't bother me. You can go bail her out. Or he said, oh, well, my schedule is not going to allow me to go do it. You want to take the money? I said, sure. He said, what's, what's the amount? I said, 2500 Mm -hmm. He went and did the cashier's check for twenty five hundred, wrote it to the county jail, and I took it down there and kept my three thousand two hundred. I went a shopping spree. Yep, I went a shopping spree while she ain't had no bed or a TV to watch anymore, and he ended up paying for it. Well, yeah, he had to pay for it because he's the one stepping out and doing what he's doing with her. I didn't encourage him to go out there and commit adultery. I didn't encourage her to come try wrecking nobody's home. But when you do things like that, you get to pay. You got to pay the consequences for it. And messing with a wife who really know how to just stay in her lane and make you pay for it. <laughs>